Hey everyone, um, I'm walking through my rotifer harvesting process I, I'm using for my clown uh, fish that I'm breeding. And it started off with these 50 micron filter um, filter socks, um, 50 micron that I got off of Amazon, two for $13. And I cut them up into little, little patches and you just basically rubber band them onto some type of circular container. It doesn't have to be PVC, uh, but you would want it to look something like that so that you can pour your material through. Um, another another option was if you want something a little bigger is I had two pieces that would fit together interlock. You put the piece of um, the filter sock or mesh material and you put it in. Um, I actually use two different sizes. So I actually use both of these when I'm doing my rotor for harvesting. This is 15 micron and I use this for catching the rotifers and this is 100 micron mesh and I use this for cleaning my bins and we'll walk through that now. So if I were to be just scooping some to add to a tank, um, I would come over, here, come with me. I would just come over to my tank, hold it right above the tank and I would scoop out the rotifers that have photoplankton in my culture. And then what you see here at the bottom, in the bottom corner, is the rotifers. Um, so you would just take some water from your tank, flip this over, and dump them into your tank. Uh, another option that we have to do daily is reduce the population of this um, culture. So you could take four to eight scoops and dump it in. And I use a piece of egg crate material. And this way here, I don't have to hold that. I can sit here and scoop out my four or five scoops and this way here you'll see all the rotifers at the bottom that's a lot of rotifers but there's also a lot of debris so I'm going to show you how we can avoid that and um, what I'm actually working on is um, changing a full change show this bucket so I'm going to do a hundred percent change after after I do this but I'm going to show you how I normally would just clean it on a given day, or like for my weekly change, I would take the 100 micron and just pour it through the 100 micron. And all this debris and, and built up um, phytoplankton and discharge that you see in the bucket, and I'll show you in a second. I gotta, um, it's under the filter stuff. Here's a little piece of material. Just no. It's not under it? Behind it. Behind the other one. Yeah. Okay. So now that I've done most of them, I'm just going to wipe off the air stone. Just stop it. 